Welcome back, friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this get tipsy text effect where the words are thick on one end and then they become narrow on the other end. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm starting off with a YouTube thumbnail workspace. Obviously, if you're designing for a t-shirt, you're going to choose a different size, like maybe eight by 10, or if you're doing this for a mug or some other kind of wall art, wall art you're going to choose a size that's appropriate for you. You'll do that before you're actually in your Canva page, or you can also design in a larger space and then resize it at the end, but then you'll have to move objects around in any case. I'm going to start off by going to apps and I'm going to search for an app called Typecraft. Now I'm just going to go back for a sec. And if you're in the app section in the search Canva apps, you're going to search for an app called Typecraft like that. And at the top, you're going to get an option to type in text. So in here, I'm going to type in my first word, which is get. And I'm going to type that in all caps. Now for the font, I am going to use a font called Ganton123. I haven't used this font before and it seems like a pretty cool font. So I want to use it for the style. Um, this time I'm going to use outline. And if we scroll down a little bit, what we're going to notice is in the edit shape um, box, it shows us a preview of what that's going to look like. So we'll see that the base color is black and then that outline color is kind of like a violet um, color. What we're going to do is we're going to update the base color to a green. Kind of like a forest green like that. And we're going to change the lavender color to a goldish color like that. All right. And we're going to also just increase the border width just a little bit like that. Now to start, I'm going to add this element to my design just to get an idea of what it, it's going to look like. And now for this design, um, we've got two words on our page and one word is wide on one side and then becomes narrow on the other side. So for my first word, get, I want to make it wide towards the bottom and on the left side. So I'm just going to um, increase the size on the bottom left. And I, my the goal here is to try and make a straight line. So I'm just going to adjust these circles to make a straight line. Or to try anyhow. Now this might take you a few tries, uh, but don't get frustrated. Just go slow and try and um, get it the way you like. So I'm, I'm going to leave the get like this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a duplicate of get. Since I've already got the color and the border um, selected, uh, I don't want to go through the process again of selecting the color and not exactly getting the same shade. So um, what I'll do now is I'll come back into Typecraft because it's not a destructive uh, process. Now, when I say it's not a destructive process, what I mean is you're always able to go back and edit that element. Whereas some processes, once you're finished uh, designing, like for example, example, text maker, that text is saved on your workspace as an image and you can't go back into TextMaker to modify that word. If, for example, you've spelled a word incorrectly, you have to start all over again to design that text. But with Typecraft, it's, it's a little bit different. So what I'm going to do now is for my second word, I'm going to come right back up to the top and I'm going to change the word to tipsy. And I'll leave the font the same. I've got the color selected, so that's perfect. But now I have to um, 
bring this back down and bring this part up. So I'm just going to reset the shape. So I've got the text reset back into a square and I'm just going to start by increasing the size on the right like this and uh, bringing the P up a little bit and then just um, decreasing the middle circles so that it's actually a straight line and I don't want it curved so uh, I don't want it to be a, a curved line at all so this might take a few tries but as I said um, just take it a little bit at a time until you're happy so as we can see here um, the P and the S aren't quite meeting up with the E. So let's see if we can just bring that P up a little bit like that. So I'm pretty satisfied with that and I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm now going to grab this and just make it a little bit larger like this. And I'm going to close Typecraft because I don't need Typecraft anymore. But what I am going to do is I'm going to download this selection to create an image because I want to bring it back into Canva to apply a little bit of a shadow effect. Um, if you like the word the way it is on your workspace, you don't have to do this process, but I'm going to do it just to show you um, that you can download it as an image and then bring it back into Canva. Now, when we're doing this, always remember to click that transparent uh, option so that you can so that we can actually apply that shadow on the letters not on a box background so i'm going to click that download button and i'm going to create a new page i'm going to grab that image and put it back on my space and i'm going to add a few elements so i'm going to go into my elements i'm going to go into my recent and i'm just going to add a um, glass of whip whiskey and I'm going to put that in behind my word now it's not it's an image with a white background if you need the background to be removed then you can remove the background but I'm working on a white background and it's for me it doesn't make a difference but if you're creating a t-shirt yeah you're going to want to remove that background so I'm going to leave that like that for now and I'll go back into my elements and I'm going to place some ice cubes on my workspace. I'm going to turn that upside down like that. And I'm going to just place that on my glass. Now, if you can't see your whole workspace, you can always make your workspace smaller like that. And I'm just going to bring that up like that. And I'm going to grab those two elements and just bring them to the side a little bit. Okay, and I'll just leave that like that. Uh, I'll now add some more ice and I'm going to bring that to the side. And I'm going to add some more text in here. And for this text, I'm going to use a font called Erica one, Erica one, and I'm going to change this to with me. So get tipsy with me is what it's going to say. And I'm going to bring that here and I'm going to change the alignment to left. And I'm going to just make this bigger like this because I want to go into the uh, letter spacing and just make the spacing in between the letters a lot wider so that it comes all the way across like that. Okay, there's one more step. And before we get to that step, I just want to ask you, if you learned anything in this video, press that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to turn notifications on. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every Tuesday 
where I hold an interactive session with my adult learners and we design together and they get to ask questions as I'm designing. So if you want to be a part of that, hit that join button and join my YouTube channel membership. All right, back to the meats and potatoes of this design. Okay, so we're going to apply a shadow to this get tipsy word. So I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where it says effects and I'm click, going to click on shadows. Now I'm going to use the drop shadow to create this effect, but I don't want that kind of a shadow. If that's the kind of shadow you want for your design, by all means, you can use that. But I'm going to decrease the blur amount and I'm going to um, decrease the distance because I want it a little bit tighter. And I'm also going to increase the intensity of the color and make it more opaque. So I want it black, in other words, right behind, kind of almost like a 3D effect. All right. And that is pretty much it for this design. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something. Uh, again, hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about Canva and turn notifications on if you want to be notified when I release new content. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye bye until next time.